Hello, and welcome to Try It Tuesday. My name is Cassandra Hainsworth, and I am the 4-H agent in Walton County, Georgia. During Try It Tuesday, we try to introduce you to foods that you may have never tried before, and some that you probably never even heard of. Today, I'm gonna introduce you to oranges. You're probably thinking, Miss Cassandra, you're crazy. I know oranges. You probably had a glass of orange juice this morning for breakfast, and you probably had an orange sometime today for a snack. And you're right, you do know oranges. But have you ever heard of a blood orange? According to the University of California, Riverside, there are several varieties of blood oranges. Blood orange trees are typically grown in warm climates. However, they can be grown in containers if you are in a colder climate. If you look at this picture, which was shared with me by Jake Price, the agriculture and natural resource agent in Lowndes County, Georgia, you will see that blood oranges look a lot like your classic variety of oranges that you see every day. However, that similarity ends once you cut it open. Blood oranges have a blood red color inside. The inside color can vary based on the variety. So you might get one orange that's very light in color, but then you may have another one that has a very deep red color. Blood oranges are believed to have originated in Sicily and were originally only given to royalty. Now, blood oranges can be found in almost every country in the world. So now that you've learned a little bit about blood oranges, let me show you how I use them. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a refreshing blood orange lemonade. I've already prepped my ingredients to make my blood orange lemonade. So I have one cup of blood orange juice, one cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one fourth cup of orange juice, and then I took three fourths cups of sugar and mixed it with a cup of water and heated it in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to allow the sugar to dissolve. And then I added three more cups of water to it to make it a total of four cups of water. So now we're going to add all of our ingredients into our pitcher and you'll be able to see how beautiful it looks. So we've added all of our ingredients to our pitcher and I'm just sl slowly uh, stirring it up just a little bit. As you can see, it looks so nice and yummy. So you're going to allow this to chill in the refrigerator for a little while. And then you can always add some crushed ice to it when you're getting ready to serve it. So there you have it. All about blood oranges. So the next time you're out, and you see blood oranges, I hope this video has encouraged you to try it.